Hello guys, how's it going? Omar here and welcome back to my channel. Did you know that you can retouch portraits in the video? No, I'm not talking about the cheap and fake looking video filters on your smartphone. These are high quality premium plugins for Adobe Premiere Pro. I found three of them so far and today we'll talk about the first one which is called Beauty Box from a company called Digital Anarchy. This will be a series of videos as I discuss the two other plugins, so make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. So, Beautybox is a video plugin that automatically identifies skin tones and creates a mask that limits the smoothing effect to just the skin areas. Just apply the filter, let it analyze the video, set a few smoothing options, and let the plugin render to make skin retouching incredibly easy. The good news is that Beautybox supports multiple video editing programs such as Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut Pro, Avid, and OpenFX. So what the plugin does is, it automatically smoothens the wrinkles and removes blemishes on the subject's skin tones while it keeps the important features of the face sharp. Alright, so let's fire up Premiere Pro, import some sample footages, and check out what this plugin can do. Okay, so I've imported a single clip right here. And I just arrange them so that the first group is a before and after, and the other is a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, so let's apply the plugin by going to the Effects tab, search for Beauty Box, and then drag the effect to the clips. Then let me just quickly add some text to determine which is which. Then render the entire sequence. And let's play it on full screen. So this is the original clip. And this is with Beauty Box. Let's check the side by side look. Do you notice any difference? Let me just pause it for a second. How about now? Do you see any difference? By the way, the effect is on its default settings, so straight away I think it looks good. If you want to change the settings, you can go to the effects controls and adjust accordingly. You can change the smoothing amount, skin detail smoothing, contrast enhance, mask, etc. You can also toggle to show the mask and make sure that the correct skin area is selected. And you can assign the dark and light colors of the skin. It also has some built-in presets for some creative effects. If you want me to feature all the available presets, comment down below and I will make a video about it. Now let's try Beauty Box on another clip. Again, we go to Effects Panel and drag the effect to the clips. And let's have a look in full screen. This is the before. After. And here is a side-by-side -side look. Let me pause it for a second. So, if you look at it, this time, the effect is very subtle. Let's go to the Effects Controls panel and adjust the settings a little bit. Let's increase the smoothing amount to 40 and the skin detail smoothing to 50. Then let's have a look at the mask and make sure that most of the skin is selected. Let's pick the dark skin color and the light skin color. And let's check the mask again. This is too much, so we need to change the light skin color. Okay, this one is acceptable. Then we click the Analyze Frame button right here to apply the effect. Then render the entire sequence so we can preview the entire clip smoothly.
I forgot to apply the same effect to the split screen, so we right click this clip, select copy, select this clip, clear the previous effect, select this clip, right click, and then select paste attributes. Again, we render it. So let's have a look. Before, after. And here is a side by side look. So, as you can see here, I went too far with the skin smoothing. Anyways, you can always go back to the effects controls and make the necessary changes. Let's move on to our third example. And again, apply the beauty box effect. Then let's render it. Let's play it. So, this is only on the default settings. What do you think? If you ask me, I'm happy with the result. And for our last example, let's try it on this clip. We apply the beauty box effect. Render it. And this is the result. This is the before. This is after. And here it is side by side. Again, these are all on default settings. So this is the Beauty Box plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro. What are your thoughts? Would you be trying out this plugin? Well, the good news is, they have a free trial, so go ahead and test it out yourself if this is something that you will use in your editing workflow. As for me, I find this plugin really useful in most cases. It is very easy to use and it renders fast, so I'll be adding this plugin to my video effects collection. It might come in handy when the time comes. On my next videos, I will talk about two other plugins that do the same thing. They are ImageNomic Video Suite, and Magic Bullet Cosmo 2. And in the near future, I will do a comparison of the three plugins. I hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please give this video a like, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon so you will be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching.